Tyler, that was a, a wild one, obviously. How would you kind of explain that win? Um, the Big 12. Uh, can't explain it no other than that. Um, we've seen all across the country what the Big 12 has been lately these last couple of weeks. And um, just to be on the on the winning side this time is definitely, you know, a good feeling. Um, to be able to come back home and regroup after that loss in Lubbock uh, just speaks testament to our team. And, you know, like I said, I'm glad to be on the winning side this time. That pull-up transition three you had was pretty big. Came off a Colbert, you know, defensive stop and a good outlet pass from Finister. How big were those two? And how much do they mean to you guys at this point? <clears throat> uh, Jarrell and Dorian has played so well these since we started the Big 12. And um, we told them always to just stay confident and stay ready. And, you know, um, it's, it's showing. And it showed up these last couple of weeks in practice. And uh, now they're getting the opportunity, they're taking full advantage of it. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of them. And um, they're giving us such a big boost. Arthur, given that you guys are now 5-0 and in overtime games, I'm wondering when overtime start, are you guys just really comfortable in that environment? Or, or walk me through what's going through you guys' head when that starts. Well, I mean, we prep for that environment often. Uh, fire to grind, you know what I'm saying? We, we work on these situations like, a lot during practice. So, I mean, once we got to overtime, you know, it was just another thing that we've done before, and we just had to execute the way we know how to execute. Can you walk me through your three-pointer, I guess your four-point play there in overtime? Mm -hmm. Nah, uh, it was a great offensive board by uh, David, and he was able to kick it out to uh, Arja. And you know, Arja had just hit one, so I thought he was going to shoot it, but I saw my man rotate over. So once I saw that, I asked for the one more. And uh, I noticed Kobe Walter was like feet inside the three-point line. Had a clean look, so I decided to take it. And, and Cam happened to watch the end of that on the bench. What was your reaction to how it ended? Uh, I was, you know, like like Art said, uh, you know, we practice this all the time. I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing new. Like we even put the crowd noise on, even uh, on the, on the speakers. Uh, so I knew, I knew we was gonna pull it through. You know, it was just frustrating to file out, but uh, you know, we did our thing. You guys were down, down six with like a minute, two little, little a little less than two minutes left. What, what were you guys saying? To each stay, other. stay the course. Um, Baylor's a very good basketball team and very well coached. So <clears throat> we knew we couldn't panic, and um, we believe in what we do every day. Like they say, this is something we practice literally every day. So it's like we can't panic in these moments because um, we've been here so much. And um, I just think we have a team that's you know continuing to get better each and every night. And uh, you know I think that showed tonight. We're taking a step in the right direction. And then, what, what can any of you say about RJ? Hitting hit that shot. I mean, he played so little tonight to kind of come in and nail as big of a shot as that. RJ, he's so talented, and uh, RJ, he can, he can just flat out shoot it. Uh, you know, he he's steady in the gym. Uh, you know, he even he even got on scout team this past week to help us prep. And you know, Coach Tang said it himself. You know, he looked <coughs> ready, and his time came, and he was ready. Tyler, this is uh, like, I forgot the number, but six or seven straight games in a row where you guys just really aren't letting anybody score on you. Why do you think defense has been so good for this team lately? Um, this ain't no knock on nobody on our team, but we don't just have a guy that's just going to go get 30 or 40 every night. Uh, we so well-rounded. Uh, and so so defensively, we have so many. We're so versatile. And uh, we know we have to win on the defensive end. Uh, we can't rely on our offense each and every night because we it's just shown we struggled on the offensive end. But you know what can be consistent is our defense. And the biggest thing about our team is just not letting our offense dictate our um, defense. And uh, I think we're taking a step in the right direction for that. But <clears throat> when we put it all together and um, you know us three have big nights plus defending on the end, um, I don't think there's a team in the country that we can't beat. Any other questions for these guys? Okay. <laughs> is there a moment that you'll you guys will remember from this game more more than others? Is there something that that'll stick out to you? That three point play. <laughs> <laughs> four point play. My bad. Four, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> NBA art. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know it was good? Once yeah, the moment it left my hand, I know it was good. And then he hit me, and so. <coughs> well, no, no knock on Kansas. They played uh, Baylor. They played a great game today. They played a great game today. 
I know you guys felt like you gave that one away last Saturday against Texas Tech. Is this kind of the, a good recipe to kind of get over that? Absolutely. Anytime you, you lose a, uh, a close one like that, um, it definitely hurts and it stings and it'll sting for a while until you get that bitter taste out your mouth. And I think we did a, you know, a great job of doing that tonight. And um, just like the Texas Tech one, we got to put this one behind us in the next couple uh, 24 hours. And uh, we got to get ready for Oklahoma State because, you know, it's all about the, um, the next one. And you can't rest against nobody in the Big 12. Arthur, I want to know, after playing a few seasons in the Big East, now that you've gotten a taste of the Big 12 a few games in, is there any big difference? Probably the pace of play. Uh, physicality, what we could get away with, uh, what other teams could get away with as well. But uh, it's all good competition, you know, Big East, Big 12. I mean, we're all college level basketball players and we're here for a reason. So you're going to come in every game knowing that it's going to be a war. You guys, you lose all of your, your, your normal harm marks. You lose points in the paint. You lose rebounding, but you still find a way to to, to, to to squeak out the win. What does that what does that say about this team? Resilient, um, and we just have such a a, a big belief. <clears throat> and you know, you guys hear Coach Tang talk about it only time all the time. It's crazy faith. And um, at the end of the day, you got to control what you can control. And like I said, Baylor is a is a very good team, and so um, they're a really good offensive rebounding team, also and defensive. Uh, so it, at the end of the day, we had to make the right plays at the end of games, and um, we knew this was going to be a one-possession game. And like I said, we came out on a you know on a winning end this time. Tyler, we, we've seen you get hot this season. You shot over forty percent from three at North Texas both seasons, but this year you're under thirty-three percent. What do you think the struggle has been for you shooting the basketball this year, and why it's such a significant drop off? Um, <clears throat> I think beginning of the year was all mental. Uh, it was just all mental for me. I kept kept trying to figure out ways what was going on with my shot and you know listen to out not outside noise and it was it was more mental than it was anything that was wrong with my shot. Um, <clears throat> I wholeheartedly believe in my jumper and I'll never stop believing it. I got a great group of guys around me and coaches that believe in it and so I'm not worried about misses at this point because um, nobody remembers misses when that confetti falls. And on top of that, man, TP's been a great leader, you know, whether the shots is going in or not. I feel like he's been a great point guard for us, and, you know, he's not dictated by whether shots go in or not. He's dictated by if we win or not. And that's a tell sign of a great point guard. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Olivia it. looking for one of y'all. Yeah, Olivia. Hurry up. <laughs>